you know, I, I, my, my question is, how is it every city around Compton, man, Paramount, mm -hmm. Carson, mm -hmm. Downey, Linwood, all these cities have, have, have progressed and they find a way, they, they, somebody keeps finding a way to drain the money out of Compton. Compton, yep. come on, man. All these cities have progressed and Compton's like it's on a time warp treadmill. Is it because, do you think, do I think that all the time. I swear, I swear to you, I think that all the time. Now, do you think it's because of the name Compton? You know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of people like Rancho, what is it? Uh, they, they change their name so it doesn't sound like Compton. Um, so do you think it's because of the name Compton that people don't no, want to bring it? Because of the name Compton, I think it's because, um, I, I haven't figured out exactly, but there, there is an underlying, um, uh, an underlying current of something that won't allow change hmm. because it may be, it may be it's some money being stolen or maybe some money being misplaced to being used, but something, something is more important than the progress of Compton. Okay. Huh. It's like, I, I don't, I, like I said, I, I actually go to the movies in Paramount. Okay. My daughter lives in Paramount. Beautiful. Hmm. Paramount yeah. Boulevard is beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Paramount Sheriff Station, Paramount City Hall, Paramount has been ring. around that long, huh? A little ice skating rink right there on the corner. Yeah, Paramount mm -hmm. is younger than Compton. Mm -hmm. Carson is younger than Compton. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. there's something about it. it it's, it's not interesting. It's, it's not the name Compton. I think okay. it's, it's, it's the uh, so, somebody has a hold on Compton that don't want it to change. Maybe mm. it's the courthouse, man. I don't know, maybe, because you know, you, you know, a courthouse is like a roach motel. People go in and never come out again, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe they need a certain level of, a certain, a certain percentage of brothers going to jail forever. I don't know, man. But mm -hmm. I, I, we've had this conversation in the past. Uh, I, I had a TV show in Compton Mm -hmm. I had a public access show in Compton for years, about 15 years, called Issues in the Hood. Every Thursday, I had a show for an hour and a half on Compton Access, public, public, uh, public access. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, I, I talked to politicians coming and going, politicians who were in, in office. I talked to all the various um, chief of pol police chiefs and union members. I mean, we, I had some deep conversations with a lot of people, man. And most of the, the best part of the conversation was after the show, because a lot of them couldn't say what they wanted to say on camera for fear of, uh, um, of re retaliation. But it's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff goes on in Compton that mm. people don't want anybody to know, okay? And uh. it's, it's, I tell people all the time, when you steal from a rich man, he may never know it, okay? Like the city of Los Angeles right. is a we got big budgets for everything. Every budget in yeah. city of Los Angeles got a billion. It's worth a billion dollars plus. Police is a billion. Uh, uh, um, street sweeper maybe uh, nine hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. But when you have a, a small situation like a poor man, I know exactly how much money I got in my pocket, how much I got in the bank, how much my credit card balance. I know all that because I ain't got a whole lot of it, but I know what I got. Okay. And if you steal some, if you if, if come up, come up missing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel it a lot faster, okay? I'm gonna feel it, and that's why I say about cities like Compton. Even I think it was Bell or Cudahy had issues back at one time, and you got people, you know, people stealing. Or I ain't saying nobody Compton is stealing. I'm saying people using money for other things other than what it's supposed to. Or stealing. <laughs> and um. But because it's a small city, it shows in the city. Gotcha. It shows in the city. And maybe maybe because um, Compton has, has a, an international reputation, when somebody wants to do something in Compton, maybe they charge more money than they should for Compton because somebody may have to take care of some other hands that we don't see. Maybe, I don't know. I know... Um, 
I know I'm gonna start talking about it. <laughs> oh, no, dude, we could talk about this all night. So yeah, we should move on because you know, there's so many questions for me, dude. But it, 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 I, I was I was once told by a very reputable guy, politician buddy of mine. He says um, he was he'd been approached by several marijuana growers that wanted to rent or lease um, the fa some one of the fat some of the factories off the 91 freeway. Uh huh to grow marijuana in nope. those factories. Mm -hmm. And uh, he asked him why. He says when they did their market research, the name Compton came up uh, more powerful than any other name when it came to growing marijuana. Hmm. So, you know, just like they have the, the vineyards of France for cognac and champagne, I guess Compton would have the same thing when it comes to marijuana, if, mm -hmm. it, if it ever took place. Yeah. Unfortunately, Compton is here. Compton is a dry town. There's only a handful of liquor stores, no nightclubs, and only a couple of restaurants that serve alcohol in Compton. Huh. I there's never caught no it. There's no, there's no nightclub in Compton. You can go get a drink in. Well, man, right. I'm sorry, VFW. Huh. You know, I, I did an interview recently um, with a. Um, with an uh, a overseas um, uh, South African uh, podcast. Mm -hmm. And all they want to know is, what about Compton? How many, how, how many people die? Of, man, nobody, it ain't like that. How, what do you do on a Friday night? Nothing. <laughs> what, what, I, I mean, what, what club do you go to in Compton? Compton had no clubs. And, 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 and this is something that did not happen during the gang era. This has always been like this. Mm -hmm. Compton has always not had nightclub. Dudos never had a liquor license. Interesting. Okay. Okay. The only place ever had a liquor license in Compton was the last one was the hotel. Now they used to have a comedy club in there, and uh, you could go there and buy drinks. I, I, I'm quite sure they still have a bar in there. But not, I haven't been there in a while, but mm -hmm. that's where you. That was the only entertainment in Compton for a while. They do have uh, a Mexican restaurant. I think it has a has a uh, liquor license. But again, that's yeah, you what you want to drink go to the Crystal Casino, and that ain't <laughs> that ain't coming. Casino have a bar. That's about it. And I know one other restaurant. And Fridays when it was open, Fridays is gone now. I heard about that not too long ago. Yeah, Fridays, Fridays they, they had a liquor license, but you you you're not gonna get a drink and dance in Compton, especially not doing no uh, cha chas. Mm 